Have you ever wondered what it'd be like to watch a day in the life of the PewDiePie vs T-Series subscriber race in just over two minutes? No? Well, we're going to show you anyway. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. All right then, a bit of housekeeping first. This is the basic live stream setup we made a couple of months ago when we thought the race would last a few days. Five months later, it still hasn't finished. So if we were to run another live stream, this is what it might look like. Yes, we know the title isn't accurate, yet, but one day, whether you like it or not, it will be. Right here are the total subscriber counts for both PewDiePie and T-Series, with the difference between the two slap bang in the middle. Of all the numbers you're about to see move at a breakneck speed, this is probably the most interesting one. In the centre of the screen, this is the real world Greenwich Mean Time in London as I recorded this, while the time in India, which is five and a half hours ahead, will change on the hour. And finally, this thing at the bottom was supposed to show PewDiePie's reign as the most subscribed to channel in real time, but it broke during the recording, so um, yeah, this isn't going to change much. With all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, are you ready for the PewDiePie vs T-Series real-time subscriber count extravaganza? Even if you said no, here's a countdown clock. Let's do this. Yeah, I think if I do this again, I might not use a video background that changes every 30 seconds because when you speed that up, it looks a little psychedelic. Anyway, what can we make of all this? Well, first of all, look at the time zones. PewDiePie with a strong UK, European and US audience starts to see his subscriber advantage plummet while everybody is tucked up safely in bed. On the flip side, when the Indian based T-Series channel comes into the middle of the day, they really do start to catch up. The subscriber gap has been really close again in the last couple of days and you start to wonder if PewDiePie, his nine-year-olds and all of the channels who have been supporting him may have finally used up all of their nine lives. The closest T-Series got to being the most subscribed to channel on YouTube was in early December when they were around 10,000 subscribers behind. And again today, they got close. We are now about halfway into this 24 hour capture of subscriber counts and T-Series has more than halved the gap from 50,000 subscribers to less than 25,000 subscribers. We are now reaching the end of the day in India while the US is just waking up to its Sunday morning. And this is the point at which T-Series gets to within 19,000 subscribers. From here on in, the exact opposite happens. PewDiePie's advantage starts to climb again at almost the exact rate it was shrinking just hours before. India has gone to sleep, Europe is settling down for the evening, while the US has the most of Sunday still to look forward to. In just three hours, the subscriber gap is back above 40,000, and as you will see, that figure is only going to continue to rise. No doubt some printers got hacked, or Mr. Beast thought up of another crazy idea to help rally the cause. If you know what happened on February 10th to help PewDiePie storm comfortably ahead again, do let us know in the comments below. Some people think that PewDiePie is going to make it to 100 million subscribers before T-Series overtakes him. The battle started at around 67 million subscribers each, so we're about halfway there. Anyway, that is a complete day in the PewDiePie vs T-Series subscriber race, and these are the final numbers. Looks like PewDiePie won once again.